you guys. So today, well, we're looking at these, which are, yes, it's part of my holiday haul. Um, while I was on vacation in sunny Florida, I picked up these guys. As you can see, I got them from Ross, um, Walmart clearance, and also Ross. So, uh, yeah, I have fallen in love again with the G.I. Joe figures, and I was looking for some while I was over there, and basically all I found was, like, Shipwreck and some of the ninja figures, which are not really my thing of the ninjas. I didn't really like them originally, back in the early days. I don't know. They were just never really my thing. But these guys, these were my thing. And I went in a Ross one day and I found this guy, but not that guy. So I had to, and I was looking around, looking around, searching around the store and found him. And I was like, oh, I've got them both. And also Croc Master with Fiona. So, so Fiona, that name has got um, kind of a weird thing for me now because a few years ago, Disney World, waiting for the fireworks. If you've ever been, you will know what I mean. The, the entire park is stood in front of the castle. And we've been stood there for a while. People are standing on top of each other. It, it's packed. And all of a sudden, this voice from the wilderness starts shouting, Fiona! Fiona! Where the f are you, Fiona? I'm cleaning that one up a little bit. And this guy, English, Scottish, with a tray of hot dogs and drinks, is walking through the crowd shouting, Fiona! Fiona! And then he stops and he goes, I sound like effing Shrek! And walked on. And I, to this day, wonder if he ever actually found Pam Fiona. Did he find Fiona? And was Fiona now a crocodile? Yeah. So yeah, these guys, I got them cheap. So um, I thought I'd do them as one, one whole video. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to start with ladies first because it's Lady J. I uh, yeah, got this one from Walmart. It was, it should have been $21.88 and it was $17. Um, the box is a little damaged. It is from the first few sets uh, when I wasn't buying these because they came with really duff weapons. So I, I was like, they're not my G.I. Joes. But for $17. And I do kind of, I kind of regret now not buying them uh, because they are hard to find now. I've picked up a Zartan from, from AliExpress. It is on its way. Fingers crossed it is real and it gets here relatively quick. I I could not believe how much a Zartan cost on, on good old eBay. Um and I saw them I saw them on discounts. That's the sad thing. I did see them on discounts and I should have bought them when I saw them. Uh right. I have lost all my sharp stabby things. I do not know where they are. So let's have a look. Give me a minute while I try and find in all this wreckage down here where my knife is. Got it. So um, yeah, so tape. The box is generally a little bashed. I get the feeling she'd been stood on the shelf for quite a while. It was one of the out of the way. Oh, they have those in there. It was one of the out of the way Walmarts. Uh, it's kind of weird when when you go to Florida, there is the the kind of the touristy areas. And even the Walmarts and that have different stock in them for tourists and do feel a little bit more expensive, which is most understandable. Oops. <laughs> Get the hair out of there and the hair with the hat, which is probably the one she's going to wear more than anything else. And I'll just pop that over there for now. So yes, she comes... Wow, we've got the same hairstyle. So, yep, that pops back on there. Which, yeah. Interesting hair. The belt is loose and will move up and down rather irritatingly. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice figure. All the usual articulation and stuff. The belt does sit really nice when you get it in the right place. 
that is also loose which is nice because it means you can move it out of the way a little bit oh no actually they've put a hole in there that's cool right yeah so let's just quickly get the that's from the shadow um out of there so yeah that will plug in very nicely like so yeah i like that now how does she stand relatively well yeah um i let's have a look do we have lady j a c D, oops e f i ah, there we go so lady j um has a spear in the original ones which yep she has a spear there Lady J graduated from Burn Meyer and did her graduate work at Trinity College in Dublin, where she acquired the faint Gaelic lilt that. Alright. I'm going to go through some mime as well as a student in. Oh, okay. Airborne and range qualified. Yeah. So, she didn't have the hat in that. But I kind of always think of her with the hat so let's see what she looks like with the hat right around the ears hmm i think that looks that looks a little bit more i don't know i just like it i like the hat better try and get her feet a little bit further out but then that bit's not level oh you see my ocd all right I've got a cunning plan. I noticed it earlier. <laughs> Stands. I don't know what it is, but my table that I film on seems to have become slightly wonky. I came back off holiday and my table no longer stands straight. So, accessory wise, she comes with. So, I'm going to get them in focus. Uh, throwing knives, I'm not sure what that is. I think that looks like part of the camera kit that she's got on her back. Uh, the spear, which is obviously what you put those on. And a little knife, which is going to go in her belt. And the weird gun, which they had the weird guns with these earlier figures. So, I will get one of the spears out. Because she's going to need... You know that thing that it says on the box about do not put in your mouth? Well, guess what I've just done? Yeah, I've got... Oh, and I dropped it on the floor. That's why I was trying my best not to do. Right. So I'm guessing... Yeah, that goes on there. And then... Now, they've given her pistol hands, which is weird because she doesn't really have... She doesn't really have guns. She has the spear, so I am guessing that that is probably what she's going to look like on my shelf. Um, where's the little knife? We'll put that in her. I'm looking at the spear. Can you connect? No, we can't connect the spears. So they've got, they've got the sellotape on here and it is really, really difficult to get through. Ah, stabby thing. Yeah, there we go. Stabby things. Right. Oh, now it won't come out. There, got it. Come down, everybody. We got it. So that's going to go in there. That makes a lot of difference. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like it. I think it's a cool figure. I can still feel, even though she's got that peg in her foot, that backpack is making her a little bit unstable. But I'm sure with a bit of work and standing her in a sort of more action-y pose. There, there we go. That click did it. Yeah. I kind of like it. And it is. Let me have a look. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's the first. No. I've got Satana. So yeah, the Tana's now got company on there. In with in with the boys, as they say. Right, so um, I wonder who we're going to look at next. So we have... Tomics Paoli, an Examot Paoli, 
I hope I said that right. Um, I've never had to say it out loud. Um, they do look uh, very different in the in the in the book. Spell out the name Tomex in capitals and hold it up to a mirror. It reads as Examont. The same holds true for the actual brothers. Each is a mirror image of the other, except for Examont's facial scar. Born into a Corsican brotherhood family, both twins served for the Foreign Legion Paras in Algeria before their official put officers put I don't know what that means. They honoured their mercenary skills in the Bush War of Africa and South America. They were too smart to be soldiers forever. They went to Zurich and became bankers. Yes, they quickly found the ins and outs of international finance to be too haphazard for their tastes. And preferred a situation they could control. Cobra will was willing to give them access to their control. Now they command legions. Now their legions wear three-piece suits and fight their battles in executive boardrooms. These then are the most fearsome of Cobra's adversaries. They don't fight with steel and claw, backed with muscle and honest sweat. They chase with paper, wound you with their own laws and kill you with the money you loan them. Oh, okay. So they're loan sharks. Hmm. Can you imagine them going to a, an office meeting looking like that? That would be interesting. Right. So, these guys came from Ross. Um, they should have been $12. They were $5.99. Which, yeah, I had these, the original, I had the originals back in the day. Um, uh, yeah, I had a real problem getting them at Argos because Argos, back in the day, you, you couldn't just go in and order Joes. You had to, well, Action Forces were called then. You had to order a set and I got the set and I didn't get one of them and all this. Oh, it was a, yeah. And I was laughed at, and yeah, it's a it's a long, boring story. So yes, we have that one there, da, da, da. and yeah. So if you put these two boxes together on the shelf, they are forty-four and forty-five. You get the two brothers looking longingly at each other, which is a bit creepy. But anyway, so yes, five ninety-nine from Ross. Usual stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's get them out of the box. At least get one of them out of the box, because they are reasonably the same figure. Except for their battle scars. Oh, there it is again. Right, that goes in there. So this is Tomax. You know, it's kind of weird, right? You spend your entire life reading comics and playing with these things. And, and then you find out that for your entire life you've been saying their name wrong. I've done it with a few things. My best friend kept saying Cliff Seacord wrong. And you know who you are. And this will prove if he watches my videos as well. Because <laughs> I don't think he does. If he does, then you know who you are. Make a comment at the bottom. Right, so we have only little extras and things, and some more knives. Plenty of knives over these guys. Right, so we have two squiggly knives and a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Not very seasonal. All right, so that goes in there. I do remember they did have the very cool machine guns like this with the original set. Oh yeah, with, with the suppressors. Are the suppressors, or is it just a thing that looks cool on the front? Whatever it is, I like it. Right. So they have a little knife holder there, and a little knife holder there. Right. So this is the one I'm guessing without the scar. This piece isn't locked in, it is connected. Oh, no, it isn't even connected there. So yeah, that's, it does move a little bit, which is nice. I think the original ones, it was moulded into the body, which was a bit odd. Got a cobra crotch plate. Cobra's there. Yeah. Let's see. 
all the usual articulation. I'm not going to go into articulation and things like that because you guys know how these things work. And he stands very nicely. Right, where's his brother? Um, doo -doo -doo, I put the knife down again. There it is. I'm going to get this. I'm going to tie this to my wrist. I'll probably get arrested by the police for carrying a knife. Around. Right. Do not carry knives. Right, there we go. He's up there. Oops, don't lose the, you see, the sellotape came with it. Let's try not to use the silencers and things. Right, so, same machine gun. <laughs> Me and sellotape. Go watch the, uh, the shadow video. You'll see me with the little bags. The gun is a little bent. Feels a little bent. There we go. Thought that had gone to the um, carpet monster. Yeah. So again, he has... Oh, that sounded good. Same <laughs> knives. But this time, the mirror image. Is this the one with the... Yes, he has the scar down his face, as you can see there. So, I am going to be clever and put the machine gun, seeing as they're mirror images, because if you look at the hands, they look, that is more of the trigger finger, yeah. So now they are definitely a mirror image of each other. I like it. I always think like the, the design of these guys for now looks a little silly but back in the late 80s early 90s this was cool. Uh, yeah oh come on who didn't who didn't go to school dressed like that? Oh you okay just me oh okay Right, so let's look. We've got one left. Um, so I can't say to you, guess who I'm going to do next. Yes, so we have Crocmaster, which was one of my favourite figures back in the day because he came with an alligator or a crocodile. I see an alligator, crocodile, it's a crocodile because he's Crocmaster, otherwise he'd be Alec Master, which would sound really weird. So yeah, um, this one again from Ross should have been $40.00. Came in at 12, 11.99. Um, I could not believe this for 11.99. This was one. These are reasonably. This is 50, 60 quid's worth of figure over here in the UK. Um, these were the original ones that I didn't sort of dip my toe into because I didn't like the guns and things. Um, so the ones I regret not getting: uh, Scarlet, Zartan, which I've got them coming, Baroness. Um, Destro and the bats. I borderline nearly got the bats and then didn't. And I'm um, Flint was Flint and Lady J were the English comic book heroes of the Action Force comic, uh, which was always fun to read because they had now and again um, the American. They, they were drawn by English artists but now and again they'd have an American story in it and you could see where they'd like tip X'd out G.I. Joe and put in Action Force and it looked really weird and they'd blank out certain things so yeah I really do love those little planes I can't remember what they were called but I do have the the helicopter on the way eventually but look at this 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 was G.I. Joe it was just so cool for me as a kid and barbecue as well yeah right anyway we're looking at this figure so we have a picture of him down the side there, um, looking all scary, and his figures and things like that. He is number 38. Oops, things off the table. So, let's see what's inside. Yeah, I'm actually going to open this one from the top, because 
Then that little card will fall out. Alright, we slide him out there. Look, you see, it's in the bottom. Ha <laughs> I foiled you this time, Moriarty. Don't know why I said that. Anyway, so look at, I mean, look at this. We have in here a freaking large crocodile. Guns, whip. Yep. A plethora of stuff, but mainly a very large crocodile, which I am probably going to struggle to get. Ah, I know. Okay, when I was looking for my scissors and things, I couldn't find them, but I could find these. So, that through there. Give me a sec, because I don't want to nip a nose off or anything. Right, there we go. Oh, hang on, it's got one around the nose. Fiona, there you go. That one is not quite coming off, so we're going to just... That'll slide out from under that. Oh, got a tooth caught, there we go. Right, so that's Fiona. Corrupt master. chain and I'm gonna leave her little babies I'm gonna leave the little alligators in there there we go I wish I could have found um, my original crop master I was looking for him I don't think Fiona was anywhere near as big as as this I mean look at that that is a that is a monster of a, of a figure. Why are the Joe figures so good compared to what they're doing? Like, that's what doing with Black Series and things like that. I mean, look at that. Wow. And it, and it closes so well. Just look. Doosh, perfect. Wow. Head maneuverability. Swivel there. The tail has movement and also has I think there is a wire in there it does feel kind of poseable so oh that is that is that is a thing of beauty look at that that is that is a crocodile I have a crocodile in my collection the whip is a bit of a weird one because it is just going to be curled up like that which is fine let's just put her over there and have a look at the man himself I do seem to remember that with mine this was a problem it, I think I, I think I lost mine but the cable, yeah. So he has butterfly shoulder joints. It's well. very nicely articulated figure. That's the weird thing with these, because this is going to be like a one-off. This this body, unless they do, you know, like the jungle, what's it? You know, you know they used to do the weird variations where they just painted them. I can't think of anything, yeah. Tiger Force and things like that. Unless they do something like that, that doesn't go in there. Um... This is this is it. That's probably why this is a slightly more expensive figure because the crocodile is also not going to be used much either. The gun goes in there. It is kind of weird. They've given them all one hand and it and they're all uh, pistol grips, which you know, fine. But yeah, that is a very cool looking figure. I am also pleased that the the cable does not stop any articulation. Sorry, any articulation in the head. Because that used to be a problem sometimes with the older figures. You'd do that and the cable would pop out. But that has plenty of plenty of manoeuvrability in there. Yeah. So does he stand? You bet he does. Right. I think I think with these figures, the only the only ones that ever have a real problem are the female ones, just because they've got smaller feet. Right, let me a sec. Yep, that does come. So that does come out of there. So I guess I can kind of put that there and then put that back on. Yeah, so that's given, given it the look and 
I mean, the hands, having that pistol grip kind of thing to it is a little weird. And the hands are a bit stiff, there we go. So yeah, he's taking his crocodile for a walk. I will probably give him the hook. I like the hook better than the whip. The whip, problem with the whip is that it's always going to kind of curl up a bit. The hook looks more fun. To me, anyway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like it. I think that is a very nice, a very nice set. Just out of interest. Uh, is he in the book? Maybe Blowtorch, Breaker. Does anybody know who Bongo the Bloomberry is? There you go. Bongo. In memoriam, Bongo the Bloom Bear. Please tell me in the comments underneath who Bongo the Bloom Bear is. Chuckles, Copperhead, Cover Girl, Crankcase, Croc Master. There we go. So, yeah, that's what he looked like with his whip. The original, a casual visitor to Cobra Island might find his access to certain areas blocked by a maze like system of shallow canals. These interconnecting waterways are a abundantly stocked with ravenously hungry man-eating crocodiles which have been deliberately bred and conditioned to be hostile, psychotic and fast. The man responsible for these repugnant reptiles is Croc Master, a former alligator wrestler and burglar alarm salesman who founded Guard Gator Inc. in an effect to come... come... Commercialise the use of alligators for home security. Croc Master spends his leisure hours dozing in a tub of tepid bath water with only his nose breaking the surface. He dreams strange green dreams while grinding his teeth and cleaning his powerful jaws. Oh, clenching his powerful jaws. He has a hunger that is never leaves him. Yeah, so using crocodiles as security. Here's an interesting little fact for you. Um, so NASA... The, the space place um, got a new head of security once. This is a story I was told, so I don't know how true it is, but it was a story I was told. Um, and the head of security said, well, where are the big fences? Where are the cameras? Where are the things? And the guy said, if you can get past the snakes, the tarantulas, uh, the crocodiles, sorry, the alligators and everything that's out there, you deserve to get into the building. There you go. Anyway. Yeah, I like this. I think, I mean, look, this is, this is, just, just look at the pose. It is a fantastic pose. I do like the bell. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I think it's a nice, and the, the crocodile. I could do a video all of, just on that. It is brilliant. Yeah. Right. So, that is the team. That is the figures I got. On so, yeah, that is my vacation haul. Um, which are my favourite? I think I keep wanting to call him Killer Croc. Um, Croc Master is probably going to be my favourite. I do like the, the the Lady J. I do like that. I don't know why. It's it's kind of retro. It's one of my favourite figures. Well, it has a thing because she was in the comic books, the English ones, when I was a kid. So. I used to look forward to Saturday mornings. I think they were fortnightly. Uh, my dad used to go drop my mum off at work and he would come home with my comic stash, which was Secret Wars, Transformers um, and Action Force. Um, yeah, which were the, all the English ones. And sometimes he'd come back and one of them would be missing. So I missed bits of stories, but that's not, that wasn't his fault. It was just the, the paper shop, the paper shop. <laughs> yeah. But I will say, if I was going to pick one as a favourite, it would be it would be definitely Croc Master. That just looks so the face on there. It just looks so badass. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, those those two are pretty cool as well. I'm surprised how cool they are. Um, yeah. So yeah, that is. I'm looking at the things. The collars are a little bit different on them. Uh, that's it. I'm going to wind this up. Um, I will say the 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 weird thing is to buy figures like this over here in the UK is very difficult. We don't have toy stores. We don't have our Walmart would never stock anything like this. 
Um, I, it's not called. What is it called Walmart now? It used to be Asda. I think it's still called Asda. But our Asdas, Tesco's, we don't have Target over here. We don't have any of these kind of shops. Uh, so finding these figures like this is impossible. So when I go on vacation to, to Florida, it is one of my favourite things to do is to go searching for these kind of figures. And this time I found these. I do like the, 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 the newer boxes without the windows in, but I guess we're going back to the, the display boxes like this, which is, is a shame because I like the, the, I like these, the boxes we'll get in with them, but whose is this? Oh, it's Dreadnought's Ripper. That was 102. Go watch his review if you haven't. Yeah, while we're here and we're on the subject, if you haven't watched any of my other G.I. Joe reviews, please go watch them. And they're not the most watched videos I've got on the channel, but I do these, I do a lot of this stuff because it's what I love. Um, and that's, that's the most important thing to me about the channel is it's the things that I love. Um, yeah. You are seeing my childhood, my life, my existence. So yeah, I'm going to wind this up. Thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And this week's episode was about buying toys at discount prices. Till next time. Bye now.